Okay, so uh, blessed day guys and uh, peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, we're going to learn how to configure access points using Cisco Packet Tracer. So when I open our Google spreadsheet, you can see today that in WLAN and VoIP technology is number one, okay? Wireless access points configuration, right? Okay, so uh, without any further ado, I'll just open our notepad to let the steps to follow to achieve the objective is always to draw the lens the topology decorate and comment configure each ap and configure the dscp server right okay so basically i left here blank because i need to show you uh, the right devices to choose so uh, to choose a device just come to the networking devices then here to wireless devices and choose the one written ap PT the first one okay and just put it there put it here and put it here also so I chose the three wireless devices to demonstrate how we can connect to the wireless network so the first thing I'll do is let's just connect to the switch okay uh, do it very very fast so basically all of these wireless access points they normally have default SSID or uh, Wi-Fi name and the password and also the wireless devices they normally have a pre-configured uh, SSID as the default plus the password so whenever you uh, just put an access point here and the wireless device they will come com I mean con connect automatically and they will always connect to that one with the highest strength all right so in this topology here we are going to use this RDSCP server to provide IP addresses to these wireless devices. And we are going to configure each access point to connect to its respective uh, device below. Okay. So, for example, let's start with this one. How to con configure an access point. Just click on the access point. Okay. Come to configure. Come to port 1. Okay. Then SSID is the Wi-Fi name. Let's say this is IT department. Okay. Then, in the case of security, normally choose WPA2 PSK, okay? Click on that, then write the password. Let's say IT 87654321, okay? So, that's the password, right? Okay. So, I'll do the same for this one and this one, okay? So, i just go here. I'll come to port 1 and let's say this is HR now, HR. And the password will be HR okay so we've managed to configure each access point with the SSID and password so if we need to connect this SSID then we must go to the devices and input the correct SSID and password so let's start with the laptop normally laptop that do these are uh, these laptops on the packet tester they don't have uh, wireless card so it's upon us to put them so we just click on the laptop and uh, turn off the laptop just click on this uh, blinking uh, button here and remove this remove this uh, slot okay put it there and take this WPC 300N okay and insert in that slot then turn it on so the way uh, laptop here has a wireless card you can see here it has a wireless card okay all right so what i'm gonna do i'm just going to connect this laptop to this access point so what i'm going to do just come to access point to config then port zero you see the sid name and the password so i do it very very fast just come to laptop and for laptop is normally good just come to desktop and uh, click on pc wireless to scan the available uh, Wi-Fi, then you go to connect and you refresh. It will see all the available uh, wireless uh, access points. Okay, okay. So we want to connect to IT because it was the first one. We just click on connect, and our password was uh, our password was uh, IT zero nine eight seven six five four three two one. Good. Then you just click connect. You see it's connected. Good. So for this wireless, for these smartphones and tablet, 
uh, they don't have that capability capability of pc wireless you can see they don't have just come to config then you go to wireless zero okay and then you put ssrd was i uh, this was was sr sorry then the password was using which authentication wpa2 psk okay so it was sr 0987645432 one okay just close it will connect so i do this one also so very very fast save time okay so i've managed to configure uh, these devices to connect to each respective uh access point so if you, if you can just hover over them you can see they have a PIPA as the ip addressing scheme okay they have a self-assigned ip address so we need to use this dcp server to send the ip addresses so what i do just click on the dcp server come to desktop then i send ip address okay so that's the ip address of our dcp server let's let's just assume that we had a default gateway somewhere okay all right so uh just come to services after signing the ip address here okay that way then just come to services and come to dcp make sure you turn it on okay all right so after that one after that one you can just say default gateway we want the default gateway to be 10.10.10.1 okay and the next server let it to be like our default gateway okay then we want the ip address to start from at 10 0 0 dot let's say 10 10 10 uh -huh, 150 good what uh, even 150 yes 151 okay then we just save good so when you come back here when you come back here to these computers all these laptops then we try to ip configuration go back to static and go back to you can see dcp successful and you can see the parameters already here okay so that's how to configure an access point very very simple ip configuration come to static then to dcp you see all the parameters will be here okay or right. so guys thank you so much i believe this video has really helped you know how to configure access points so when you meet next let's do for wireless LAN control all right okay so i'll mark that section as done so please subscribe to this channel like this video share with friends and let's see you again in wireless land controller configuration bye